everyone. It's wonderful to be here again. I am with the Bridging Group, another Bridging Group that is moving through community connections and making us stop at CCTV. They actually were going to film this show back on February 4th, but there was a snowstorm. So this group is actually an independent living, but has shifted gears to come here. And I am proud to introduce to you the Can Doodle. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yep. Uh, I'm Ryan Canna, and I go to high school. And, um, and it's, and, it's, and, it's, and it's great to be here. First, um. And what's your name? Asmin. And what school do you go to? BS. Awesome. Great to have you here. I'm Hannah. Anna, you go to VHS. It's awesome to have you here. Personal needs and medical. Exactly. We are here to talk about community health. You are on it. And we'll be back in a moment to talk about community health. But first, we'll introduce one more can doodle. Hi, I'm Lo Capano. I go to, I go to South. I go, I go um, to SP High School. Awesome. And were you going to fill us in on why your group is called the Candoodles, Will? Yeah, because um, we, got it from the, we got it from our, from our friends, uh, the Green Mountain self our, 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 uh, We got it from our, our friends, the Green Mountain Self-Advocates, the Can-Do Attitude, and we got, and, um, and, and, um, and we t and, and, and we t we also and we, and we got the and we t we also took it from the from the Beatles, and that's it. Yeah, that was a great merging that idea of the Beatles. Uh, and and I and I also have to say it. Um, uh, I think I think I think our name's less can less um is less uh, is is less hard to say than than the than the, than the Brecky's first name. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's right, and for those of you who've watched our previous show, we did explain the Brecky's name. Um, uh, um, we, um, uh, it was hard. It was hard. It was hard to to pronounce it. So that's why we that's why we changed it. Yeah. We, we don't have we don't have to do it. That was this one. Yep. Can doodles has been can doodles right from the kitten caboodle. All right. Awesome. So thank you, Will. Okay. Will. All right. And now here I am with Kristen Fontaine. Hello, Kristen. Hi, Hi thanks. Um, so I'm the Pediatric Outreach Coordinator at University of Vermont Medical Center. And I am part of a project called the Community Health Needs Assessment. And that's where we, did, we partnered. So to get the can doodles and the other students input on what health looks like in our community. And we're using a very broad definition of health. So not just whether I'm sick or, you know, someone's feeling ill, but really is our whole community able to be healthy? Are we able to be active? Do we have safe places to go out and play? Do we have good drinking water, access to good healthy foods, good education, safe roads, all sorts of things that are part of our community that help to make us healthy. And not just how I take care of me or how you take care of you, but how we take care of each other. And so the hospital goes out every three years and asks our community, what do you think keeps us healthy? What do we have that's good in our community? And where do we want to do some work to make it better? And that's where the students came in. So they went out and took pictures of things in their our community that demonstrated health, well-being, good mental health. Lots of different things. So I'm so excited to talk about the, the photos. Great, awesome. This has been a great, um, a great collaboration. So the the Breckies, who people previously met and we just spoke about, went out and found pictures. And now what we're going to do today is share the pictures that Can Doodles found on a very cold day 
in uh, February. So without further ado, I will pop out and the can doodles will pop, 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 pop in and share their pictures with you. Hi. Hi, Ryan. So good to see you. Thanks. Um, I'd love to hear about your picture. Okay. Well, today, well, today, well, today, um, well, first of all, again, Ryan's been named again. And today, I've, um, and I'm, and I'm, I'm going to make, and I'm going to make things today. All of these products are make heal germs and, and uppers heal and protect skin at sorted senior market. Kristen, what do you think of the picture? I love that picture. Great. It's especially important during these times, right? During COVID, that we were keeping our hands really clean. Right. And that people could find those products. There were a lot of times where it was difficult to find those products. Everyone, yeah. so I'm glad you were able to find them. Yes. Um, yeah, um, it, it was a bit hard for me at first. Um, Thomas and I, I mean, I think Hazel and I, sorry, we don't, we're, I was taking a picture with him, and I thought the word, um, senior market was perfect, was perfect, but um, but I want to know, I'm not certain if, um, you know, things, but. Now we have Will. Now I have Alex. Come here, please. What about that? Felt like it was a good depiction of community health. Uh, so Alex. Uh, uh, else moose hug protecting animals is an important part of community health because they're an important part of our community aren't they whether they're our pets or whether they're animals out in the wild are you a big animal lover Alex mm -mm. Most of the heart. That's great. Well, thank you, Alex. Um, Emma, please sit with me. That is healthy. Where people in the community come together to buy and eat. I'm Hannah, please sit with me. That is healthy. Where people in the community come together to buy and eat. I love this picture. I think it's a great representation of what makes people healthy. It's both about having access to healthy food, but also where we sit together, get to know each other. People we know that people spending time with other I'm people. Hannah, please sit with me. That is healthy. Where people in the community come together to buy and eat. Thank you so much for sharing your photo, Hannah. Uh, I, 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 I picked this. I've I picked this picture because because I like ice cream. I like ice cream and I think I and I uh, I I like ice cream and I think this is very good about community health. I like this picture. I like ice cream also. It's important that we have access to things that make us happy, right? Like treats. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream, Will? Ah, uh, uh. uh. Um, uh, I don't have one. You don't have them? You like them all? all yeah. <laughs> Is this picture at UVM? Were you at UVM when you took this? Yes. Yeah, so also it's important. This is a program that teaches people about agriculture and farms and 
making the ice cream. So I think that's an important part of our community too. It's great. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I have a question. Is there anything you don't want? Can I tell you something about community health today? I've learned a lot about community health today from all of you. I'm excited that you've shared all your photos of what you think are healthy in our community and what keeps you and your friends healthy and yes. happy. And, um, I think we're all, we all have a lot to learn about um, how we can, we can support each other in this, make sure that we're all able to, to be healthy and happy. We've had a great time today. And um, we hope you have had a great time today, too. Well, on behalf of the Candidals, I want to say a big goodbye. Thank you so much. A great time. It was great being here with you. See, see, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Can't wait. Bye, Christine. And scene. <laughs>